of 21 minutes past 3 on the afternoon of Friday 15 September 2023 and we are heading to Hopefield yeah I'm excited about Hopefield yes. whenever and I think we're too late for flower season yes but whenever I chat to people about flower season they say they're going to Hopefield yes and Hopefield is about 60 kilometers away from Ribiak West okay and maybe we get residual flowers residual flowers and we also sleep in there tonight that's true I almost forgot that yeah. <laughs> so that'll be our last stop for today yes Hopefield the first sign we've seen so far of Hopefield yes with beautiful fields of yellow yes 38 kilos to go yes ma'am Hopefield 13 that was quick yeah busy road yeah another wind farm a big yeah. one too yes Huge these, eh? Yeah, massive. There's enough wind for them today. And every single one is turning. Hopefield. Never been here before. Welcome to Hopefield. Yeah. Check here, reduce, save, recycle. Yes. I see they had a fine boss show in late August. Oh, okay. I remember when I called our accommodation, the gentleman said that they were running around like crazy people <laughs> for the show. check it out yeah if there's a train line what does that mean it means people had to get onto the train at some stage <laughs> and there is the station we can come back to it just now yes ma'am fantastic you have eyes in the shape of trains it's just fantastic to see the amazing infrastructure that our country had, eh? Still has. Still has it, just not being used. Correct. This looks very interesting. It's the Land Rose, it's the Magistrate's Office. Nice building. Yeah. There. <laughs> Are they wild? Yes. <gasps> oh. oh. That is beautiful and it's. The roof is gone. Can you imagine what this looks like? Can you just park here for a second? Oh. Orson. Oh no. Reverse a little. Let's see if we can read that board. This is an old, old building, eh? 50,000 Rand. A reward of 50,000 Rand is promised for any information leading to the successful prosecution and conviction of the persons involved in the planning and arson, arson. of this historic house. In the early hours of January 5, 2018 While the owners were asleep in the house 
It's a sad note, eh? Can I just say that in its destruction, it is still gorgeous. Yeah, it's still magnificent. So I have no words for what it must have looked like. Exactly. Look at the detail on the veranda oh. and around the doors and the windows. Friday afternoon. Oh, for sure. Don't know the name of this river. I'll check later. Fainbos Center. <laughs> yeah, I think flowers. I don't see many flowers, so you know, you and I are always, always late for the flowers. <laughs> I think it must have been a bumper year because of all the rain. Oh, I'm telling you, it must have been amazing. Library. Library is great, but that's not what I wanted to show I you. I know. <laughs> I wanted to show you the structure. Whoa. Because it's even built from straw. Look at this. Now apparently it looks old, but it, this is a, a replica of what they call the Hartbeer's houses, Hartbeer's houses, of what the local people used to live in back in the day. This one he says was built in the 80s, and uh, there's holes here, the moles are hollowing out the soil here. <laughs> and this is how they lived, in these little houses, straw houses covered with mud incredible now it's not safe to go inside wow is it this is where they cook Separated rooms like this. Absolutely stunning. Yeah.
Amazing. Quite intricate and involved how they built these places. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. How the people used to build their little places, eh? From nothing. From what they had around them. Right. They didn't have shops. Now, this one's falling apart because there's no maintenance being done on it. But if people lived in it, I'm sure once or twice a year they'd plaster the walls again and put new mud on it and keep it in shape. It's got a beautiful little stove cooking area in the kitchen. Put new straw on. Put new straw on. Or thatch or whatever you call it. But it's really fantastic. Yeah, he called our names when we drove past here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Simply Be, natural beeswax products, Feinbos Honey, Bee Observation Center, Beauty Salon. Bee Observation Center? All along. Look at these uh, buildings here. Yeah. Incredible. This is them. Check this is where the bees fly in and out by the door, they got them behind glass, yeah. See them flying in and out of the door.
all of the bags with the bees on. That is cool. Pillows with bees on. Now this is the other shop. I want to tell you that I learned something today about these little bees. Yeah. Now they, they use essential oils and honey and they use what they call the bees wax and then a, a, something the bees manufacture called propolis. Okay. And that propolis is an antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Okay. Now what the bees do with the propolis is by the entrance of their hive and any little hole that happens to come into the hive they plug up with that propolis and it's by the entrance so that when they come into the hive from the outside they wash their feet in this propolis so that they don't bring any any illness or bacteria or virus into the nest or the hive 
and infect their hive. They have their own natural vaccine. They've got their own vaccine and they keep their hive clean. And if, if an invader comes in and they attack and they kill the invader, they wrap it in the propolis so that it doesn't decompose and infect their hive. Yeah, That's that insane. is unbelievable. <laughs> Nature never ceases. Yeah. No, it's crazy, crazy. Those little things. Unbelievable. Now, they make products there with the propolis and the beeswax and the honey and essential oils and stuff like that too. And they sell it over there. So. You were excited about the stop at the, at the bee place. Yes, I was. So you did it. All right, let's turn around and go back to the church. Yes, my story was a little longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We all learned something today. I never even knew the word propolis before now. No, uh, all, all, only polis I know is metropolis. <laughs> so that weather vane has got north, south, west and east with the letters on in Afrikaans. Yes. Now I wonder if I'm going to be able to get into the church grounds. Do you know, right opposite the B place yes. um, was an entrance. There's a big sign that says Bazaar and there are a few vehicles parked there. So you might be able to. I'll show you where. Okay. Okay. Just know that if the church hall looks like that <laughs> and it's 1926. Wow. Wow. Oh. I'm going to go and see if I can get in by that gate. It doesn't seem to be locked. All right. I want to read a little bit and then you can see how much of it you can substantiate during your walk. Okay. The Dutch Reformed Congregation called Zote Refeer was established in December 1851 after farmers donated money towards its construction. And the town was founded in 1852 on the farm Langekeil. That's it. On cue. <laughs> it was exactly five o'clock. On cue. I hope I can get in here. Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, oh, this is pretty. Imagine what it looks like from the inside. Check these doors. Yo!
Hey, kitty cat. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. I don't see a cornerstone. No cornerstone whatsoever. Okay. Born the 4th of May 1829, passed away 10 January So this is the Centenary Garden, 1851 to 1951. Centenary Remembrance Garden. Okay, the plaque that is on here has been removed. eighteen fifty one you face gedenk to nineteen fifty one centenary remembrance garden wow I don't see a cornerstone anyway saying when it was built but I think your dates are correct well it's all we can find yeah but it's a beautiful church that bell tower is totally different to what I'm used to I'm, I love it so that it works yeah uh, do you know what I love is the black and the white yes it's, it's really it's nice it's so striking and then that remembrance garden on the other side is yes. stunning I thought I saw something about it being a centenary garden. Yes, a centenary, 1851 to 1951. Yes. A pink house. Pink house in Hopefield. I want to tell you I told you already the town was founded in 1852. Yes. 
became a municipality in 1914 and it was named after two people who laid it out. Major William Hope, Auditor General and a Mr. Field okay. became Hope Field. That's nice. But quite sad for me, and I say Hopefield is the oldest town on the west coast and in earlier years Hopefield was considered the capital of the west coast oh. with banks, filling stations and multiple other shops and businesses. The only access to the towns of Friedenburg, Langebaan and Saldana was through Hopefield. With the rerouting of the R45 away from the town and the construction of the R27, the importance of the town gradually faded. Oh no. Sad. Oh. So it seemed to have been a hub. Yeah, I can imagine. A lot of passes through and... Business happening. Yes. Business coming into town, going through town. Yes. Corrugated house. I love them. Eh? Must be old. Yeah. Shows you what what um, feet and traffic through a town mean, eh? It means so much. And what something as mundane as the rerouting of a road can mean. Just kills off a town. a town. Yeah, it does. But they still seem to be doing okay. Yes. I think in flower season it's a popular spot. Yep for folks to visit. We almost forgot to come back yes. here. Yes. Luckily there's no way to get around this. Yes, but I have to go up here. <laughs> Even though I can't go further, I just have to. Hey, it looks like a new door. It does. That's Someone's using it. It's got a new frame in, you can see the steel is new around there. Okay, the wood is still old, but it's a new door, that's for sure. To think that the rest looked the same many, many years ago. But it's painted. Mm. You can see it was painted yeah. and it's all just Peeling. Come, come off. Oh, the lines are very, very rusty. And you can see there, those tracks have been removed already. Down the centre. I see that. The centre, they're gone. I see that. And are those wooden sleepers and those are concrete sleepers in the middle. And here are wooden sleepers still. Serious? Yeah. The first line. Wow, is it? Fine peeling and all that's got quite a lot of character, yeah. that, that shed. <laughs> I'm telling you. You see, this is wooden sleepers yes. and then concrete yeah. from there on. Yeah. And that whole line was removed, just the sleepers remained. Yeah, just and just six there the, the line carries on. It's uh, just yeah, that right. it's been taken out. Right. But yet the, the steel tie downs are still lying here. It's not I I don't I don't know. People who were stealing it for scrap would not have left those steel tie downs. Yeah, they were much easier to pick up than the tracks themselves. Exactly. But look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Field. Yeah.
there's the other name Hopefield there this one's giving the altitude and the distances from different places It's only 87 miles from Cape Town Eighty seven miles from Cape Town. Oh, what's the altitude? Hundred and thirty eight feet above sea level. <laughs> so this is a definite sign that this ain't working no more. Station delivered in terms of name boards, Yo. two sets. I love it. And a very characterful good shed, which yes. is seemingly used. Someone's using it. All right. We have about 15 minutes left, I think, of daylight. Yes, ma'am. 1855. I see that. The trading post. Route 45 Classics Timeless Memories. Let me start off with this timeless memory. This is so cool. <laughs> McCormick Deering. Yow. Route 45 Classics. That was super cool. Yeah. Cool drink. Stop. Yes, Quickly. Sunrise Cafe. Cute In building. Hopefield. <laughs> it's a very cute elephant there, but the trunk is extra long. And his front leg, there's something not quite kosher over there. It's just an extra kink. I quite like it. Okay. It's a nice colour. The trunk also has an extra kink. Oh. Oh, I just love it. Makes me smile. It's well done though, eh? And cute small ears. <laughs> yes. 
cute. Very cute. I love the name. The blacksmith's cottage. So do you think this was the first blacksmith's cottage? I think so, where the blacksmith lived and did all his work. Like shoe horses and stuff like that? Exactly. That is super cool. Yes. Okay, well I'm gonna like, I like to think that it was. Is it myself? is beautiful, eh? Yeah, it stands out, eh? Oh! The fact that it's black and white is... different. And the hall, the church hall, yeah. must be one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. Spectacular. Flagpoles to me mean police. Especially two next to each other. And a police trailer. Says to me police. <laughs> <laughs> and a blue light, hey? Here we have Wurschkoel Hopefield. Fantastic. <gasps> this is this. Good luck for the exams they yes. put on it. Wow. Pretty. The school has been painted recently. And how beautiful is that baby yellow with a white trimming? 1923 to 1973. It's their 50th, eh? Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful school they oh, have. They do. They definitely do. That's a pretty school. Yeah. I think the station is just... This is the station building that I was walking on the other side, on the platform. No way! Yes, there's the name boards. We're seeing the back side of the name now. I didn't recognize this building from the back. Yeah. Cool! I think this is, yes, it's the school's pool. <laughs> A.L. Boota Pool, 17 March. 1961. Crazy. Awesome. They walk across the road to come and swim. Yes. Love that. Are you trying to get a glimpse? Yes, I am. And you are successful. It's just I hope I don't fall into a hole here. Oh, please. Here we go. What a nice facility. Yeah, it's a beautiful pool. Little nice flags thing. and everything. I can see a gala happening. Here. Exactly, yeah. 1961, that's not bad, eh? And look, the wood is ready for the next braai. Yay. I love it. Clearly well maintained, like the whole school seems to yes. be. Stuff. We decided to come down this side of the school. I like this school. It's very neat. Yeah, it's part of the school. This side, yeah, and this hall, 1855. 
school so school hall that's quite interesting hey wow. that they have roads in between the pool and the school and the hall and the school <laughs> yeah. i've never seen that Neither before I, yeah. now what's interesting we just sonia spoke to the gentleman and asked him and he says the date 1855 is when the school started on a farm in the district yeah back then unbelievable crazy. and then this was the hall first yes and as the school expanded it it built it, on that it, side yeah so the hall to, moved to that side they had to buy ground and get uh, yes. property to build them that's fantastic and although it's named hopefield high school they have from grade r to matric that's 700 students that's a lot eh? but you and i missed something very important hey, we didn't we didn't click eh? we didn't click let's just look at the at the dates 1923 to 1973 is 50 years but it's 2023 and it's a hundred years old this year on these premises on yours that's wild we didn't even register oh, he's the sports officer at yeah. the school his name is Olby. he was so kind and generous with his information yeah. and he knows so much about the school he says he has coached rugby here for a long time yeah. and the team does very well he says that's fantastic yeah, it's a beautiful school How friendly are the folks in Hopefield? Crazy. Incredible. Hi. Let's see, uh, look at this pretty house. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Sure. Miranda. Beautiful. I must be honest, it made an impression on me. From the shopkeeper where you bought the cool drink, yep. to the rugby coach, to the policeman, yeah. <laughs> to the gentleman in the hotel. Everyone is super friendly. Yeah. Love that. I think it is time for us to go to our accommodation. As usual, we've driven past it several times already. <laughs> yes, we have. This is us. What is this? The commercial hotel. Look, we're staying in a hotel. It's our digs for tonight. I love staying in a hotel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go and check it out. Right. Is it your old worldly retro hotel? Yes, I like it. So this is where we park. All right. And we go in, yeah. And this is our room? Yes, right, okay. yeah. Great. Great stuff. So this is where we are staying for tonight. It's load shedding at the moment, but I do have a light to show you. This is our kitchen. Our bedroom. And our bathroom. Quite cool.
Wow, it's beautiful, eh? Love it. This creates such a nice ambiance, eh? And it's so warm. Yay! Okay, so what are you leaning towards? You know, the spicy meatballs and mash sound fun. Spicy great. meatballs and mash is a winner. Ah. <laughs> and then you can have them as spicy as you want. So if you like, depending on what you really like, hot or cold. I not think that cold. might be. I mean, hot or cold. Okay. Hot, hot or mild, yeah. Hot or cold. yeah. Preferably not cold. Yeah, preferably not cold. But I'll still decide. I might have some croquettes, onion rings, fries. I'll still decide. Okay, I'm looking at uh, the nachos. No. Uh, the nachos, we use a special um, nachos chip, as we call it. So we use the, <coughs> the dining brewery, the, all the hops and stuff that they make their beer with. They make it into a chip. And that's what we use for our nachos. Nice, yeah, it's not very Ah, okay. Or maybe even the chow mein. Thank you. Thanks so much. Or maybe the chow mein chicken. So Sonia's having the spicy meatballs and mash, and I'm having the grilled chicken and salad. Color tonic and lemonade for Sonia, and a black label for me. So this is mine, it's the grilled chicken salad that I'm having. And this is yours. Whoa. Spicy, so spicy meatballs spicy and meat. mash. Crazy. Looks good. You're not going to finish it though. <laughs> this is not a first bite review. No. This is a last bite review. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is a three quarter plate gone review. Wow. So, can you sum up your dish? and your experience of it. While my mouth is on fire with my medium <laughs> spicy so meatballs. No, it's the jalapenos I added on top. No, this is very nice. Is it good? Very nice. It's a fresh light. salad and I love it. And All it's light. Yeah, you yeah. weren't very hungry. No. Oh. Very I'm glad. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm very Def glad to hear that. Definitely enjoying it. Good. This is what our restaurant at the hotel looks like. Geez, when the load shedding is over. <laughs> we've been here that long. Yeah, we've been here for like an hour and a half already. No, I think it's more like two. Yeah. So it's going to be a late night for me again. It, I like it. It gives me the Christmas vibe in September. This is the commercial hotel in Hopefield at night. Someone's happy tonight. We've just arrived in our room now after our stunning dinner and we're just going to relax together now and have a few drinks and tend to want to fall asleep very quickly and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Curtis is still sleeping. When I came into the bathroom this morning I noticed these little samples and I never even noticed them yesterday. And it's from Simply Bee, which is where he walked around yesterday with the bee products and the bees. It's always so amazing for me in the small towns how the folks support one another. Really great. So I look forward to trying some of these. This is our get up and go for the morning as we wake up here in Hopefield. Check these flowers. The smell is incredible. 
Now, I don't know. Oh, it smells potent. I don't know these flowers, but Sonny says they are yesterday, today, and tomorrow's. I don't know. But they smell nice today. the dining hall. Look at that. Yeah. It's closed upstairs at the moment, so I'm starting to fix it up there now. She's pretty, yeah. And here, this is the pool. The owner says I must excuse the pool because with the rain now, it's gone a bit green. And he's just on his way now to go and buy some shop treatment for it. But look how beautiful this area is. Yeah. Oh no, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. Beautiful pool area, sure. Nice little spot to sit here and have a braai. This is so cute.
commercial hotel. It's interesting that he's owned it now for 12 years. Jacques. Jacques, yes. And his father had it from the 70s. Okay. Yes. And his father passed away and then his mother ran it. And then 12 years ago, he, his, mother, his mother passed away two years ago. But 12 years ago, he took it over and he started fixing it up slowly but surely as things were progressing. And he's really trying hard to get it back to what it was. Eh? It looks fantastic yeah. though. No, it's amazing. I enjoyed my stay there. And you can see the love for the town. Yes. And the commercial hotel, because it was originally the commercial hotel. Exactly, and apparently there were uh, quite a few commercial hotels throughout the country. I can't forget Sarah, his dog. Yes. Uh, he adopted her when she was two. She's grey already. <laughs> I don't think she, every time you went in, she came out. So I don't think you caught her. Yeah, yeah she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> So this is their little market, but it only opens at 10. Yeah, eat the rainbow. How beautiful is that? But they're setting up, you can see. Yeah, by the foodie hub. Yes. Oh, look at that. I think those are Clivias. Yeah. Cute. know what river this is yet. No, I'm going to stop right here now and check on my map. Because we forgot. I forgot to check, yes. So we checked, that was, is the Sout River. Yes. Check this turbine blade. Oh. <laughs> wow, is it? Plus more farm store. But stop. Looks like a cool place. It does, eh? Sure. Yes, today it looks pretty busy, eh? Not with cars, but a lot of things. Look at the airplane. Kleiner Hopefield. Captain Richard Collard, first officer, Mount Penelican, the Pelican, <laughs> in Slati Sky. So do you think this plane was obviously really in service? Oh, for sure. And Definitely. flown by Captain Collard? Most likely. Wow. Very interesting.
Of our people, hey? Yeah, but it's full over there. Full of stuff. Look at the red ladybug, that's yes. for me incredible. And it's got a major nursery. And a donkey. And it's warm and cozy inside though, I must say. Eh? Yeah. It's a cool place. Yeah. And the size of that blade again blows my mind. Yes. Glass Mall Farm Store. What a cool place this is. Yeah. Full of cool people. I love it. Friendly. It was really a great visit. Yeah. Happy to have seen Hopefield for the first time. <laughs> 